Welcome again to week 12 of the film room here on Cold Slaw. I put it out, man, on social media. What film room am I going to go over? And it got retweeted out. Got some people doing a lot of votes. The one with the most likes got the list. And guess what? We got Marquee Hollywood Brown for the Baltimore Ravens. Now. I want to say that this is BS because it's not even going live. It is. It is going live. Never mind. <laughs> so we got Marky Brown here for the Ravens playing. I went over multiple games, multiple plays, and I must tell you, I have to tell you that you can't blame this year on Hollywood Brown. You can't. As much as Ravens fans are going to want to argue with me on this, the tape don't lie. If a guy runs his routes right, if a guy, uh, if the passes are thrown to him, he cannot make up what routes he's running. So what? He he, he ends up running 25% go routes. That ain't on him. That's on the coach, the person calling the plays, right? It ain't his fault if the ball's not placed well enough for him to catch the football. It is his fault if he can't get open. It is his fault if he drops wide open balls. It is his fault if he can't do certain things that are effectively him. So we need to find out, is this his fault or is this not his fault for the 2020 season? Well, I got about six clips here, each from a different game of the year. Why don't you take a look and figure it out yourself? Now, a lot of times when we see a wide receiver who just is not getting the production that they need to get, uh, a lot of times it has to do with the inexperience of the quarterback on their team. And in this situation, of course, it's Lamar Jackson. Now, Lamar, on this play, he needs to be able to read this defense. And he needs to see that, hey, you know, the, the outside corners are off by quite a bit here. And if he had ran a man in motion, he would have probably seen that they were they were playing zone defense. Um, but here's here's the situation, okay? You're looking eight yards off here, eight yards off here, okay? And there's only one guy on the left side, and that's Hollywood or Marquis. And he's going to go this way. But he's playing so far off. The corner's playing so far off of him that in this situation, the design of the play is bad. Not the route running, but where Lamar Jackson is handing this football off, okay? He's going to hand this football off right here to the right side, which means he's only going to be looking to the right side of the field. Now, when you have one guy on one side of the field, you want to hand the football off or you run the play action on this side, which means what he could have done since, since the option is for him to run right up through here, he could have moved him over this way to his left side. That way, as he was running in front of him and faking it, he can hand it off and look at Holly or Marquis and see, hey, you know, he'd be about right here. He'd be able to know where the corner is. If he didn't like it, he could turn his attention to the right side where all three of these guys are going to be playing. But he does. Let's watch the play real quick. As you can see how that works out, he never, ever looks to Hollywood's direction, not once, not one single time, the entire time he is looking over here, he's looking, you got your tight end short, Boykin, where he throws to, and that's guaranteed, you know, nothing, he could catch it, he may not catch it, he has to zip that football in there, yet, had he done as I said earlier and move the running back over so that the fake on this play action his eyes were over here he would see that he's open even if he wasn't open that's one guy that way he could turn his attention go through his progressions and then look at the deep route the short route and the other out route but in this situation he missed a wide open Marquis Brown which he could have caught the football and ran up the sideline. I mean, Marquis plays this this actually beautifully. 
He takes off on the snap. If you watch him, this is great route running. He doesn't make that turn. If you watch, he takes off as the corner turns his hips to go up. He makes his cut, which means right now, if, if Lamar Jackson threw this ball out here, he would catch this football, turn up field and get a first down guaranteed. Because what, what would happen is he would have to continue his body turn around to come over here to catch it. Now, if you look, the safety, it's a single high. He's way over here. This is a big-time missed opportunity because Marquis could have caught this ball cut back inside because of the way the corner is running this route. It's hard to cut back in after you doing a, a little loop around. It's very difficult. So this is a chance for a monster, guaranteed first down. But it could have been a monster touchdown play because the safety's not in a position to make the angle to stop him because Holly, because Marquis just too fast. This could have been a huge yards after catch if only Lamar Jackson had enough experience to understand move the running back. Move the running back over here. That's all he's got to do. Move him over here. That way, was he's handing it off, he'd see. When you got this much space on quick outs or quick ins, you need to see the single person first. Then you can move your progression down to the multiple peoples. Now, do I put this on Lamar Jackson? Yes. But this also could be a play design flaw. Because this is a play design done this way. And whoever designed this play should have put the running back on this side so that he could actually go through that and not have to move the guy in the first place. Okay, next next clip, next game, Kansas City, week three. And they should, in all honesty, all honesty, they got away from their game plan a little too early. They, they should have continued to run the football, eat clock, wear this defense down. But instead, <laughs> uh, as as typical when, when it comes to coaching, they, they decided to start throwing the football a lot more where, I mean, there was still plenty of time on the, on the, on the clock. All they had to do was just wear this defense down so that they can make plays. But I digress. I digress. This is about Marquis Brown. And what we have here is Marquis Brown out here. He got up here through motion and the corner came off the tight end to follow Marquis, which means as this play continues and he closes in on him, that's man coverage. That is man coverage. And Marky completely takes himself out of this play by having complete indecision on how he's going to run this route until the ball's already snapped. He's mid-running it. Let's watch the play. What's wrong with you, Marky? Come on, guy. Now, in this situation, when he comes up here and he sees the corner... As soon as he sees that that corner moves up and is tight man, he knows he's running this post. What he's got to do is run like he's running a go route. Go to the outside of him instead of the inside. Go straight to the outside. Take off straight to the outside. This will make the corner turn and face the outside. He will not give the inside up. He will give the outside. He will pin him between him and the, the sideline. That's how corners work. And give them very little space to work with. So he should have took off this way as soon as those hips would have turned to face out. He, he didn't make his little cut inside. And he'd be open because the simple fact the corner would have to turn completely around to follow Brown. But instead, what we get is complete indecision. He, he, he actually tries a triple move, which is a huge no-no in the wide receiver um, field. You do not do triple moves, especially within five yards of the line of scrimmage because that completely takes all momentum away from you. The biggest thing he has is his speed. 
and you want to use that speed, which means you want to use as little cuts as possible and make them as poignant as you possibly can. So when he cuts in, then out. Now, at that point, in and out, this should be a go route. There should not be any cutting back in to, to, to do a post or an inside cut or anything like that. Because once you set up here, and once you do this, you have him where you want him to go take a go route. Instead, then he stops and tries to cut back in. It's, it's just bad, bad footwork, bad decisions on how you're running your route, the moves you're making. This is, this is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Marquis has to realize where the corner is playing him before, right before the ball is snapped and make that route determination on his moves before he takes off. Before he takes off. Don't try to make this, you know, freelance thing in the middle of the field. Now, if he comes off of him, that's a different story. But he plays him tight man the entire way. And because of that, he should have ran the out and then post. That's what he should have done. Waited for that corner to turn his hips, then post. He would have had an open spot. He would have had a couple yards, probably. At least two strides to be open. Either way, I mean, yes, the pass went to went to Andrews here. And Andrews, even though it was thrown a little bit behind him, still dropped the football, which he did a lot of that this game. But this was just bad decision making, bad route running. Uh just he does Marquis does not do a good job making up his mind on how he's gonna run a route. Never ever ever run a triple move route in a five yard span. Ever. All it does is kill your momentum and it gives the corner every bit of upper hand in that matchup. You're still here? Awesome! Thanks for watching this stream. Please, if you have a moment of your time, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you're notified next time I go live. And if you got a few extra seconds, hit that description down there below the video and check out all the places that you can follow me, whether it be Sportscaster here on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and there's a couple places where you can help donate to my channel. That way I can continue to bring all this content to you. Thank you for your support. Now, let's get back to the video. Marky Brown plays a lot of deep routes, especially routes that look like they're go routes. Sometimes they're always go routes. Sometimes they're uh, hook and goes. Sometimes they're just straight go and then stop. On this play, it is a deep route with a route option at the end. And he is supposed to do just a, a quick stop and hook back shoulder throw at the end of this play. And realizes there's an opportunity available. And he does a great job here on this. This is the very next game that they play against Washington. Let's watch the play and then see how it rolls. And I'll explain. Let's roll out. This was beautifully done. Beautifully done. Oh, that was gorgeous. Okay, so on this, on this play play action and Lamar's going to roll out to his right Jackson's going to go way down here to like the 15 yard line and he's going to expect a back shoulder throw but he realizes he's got tight coverage so let's watch and if you know he never looks back he just keeps going 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 knowing that this is a rollout by Lamar so he's going to have time to get to the 15 yard line before he has to cut back right here he gets to the 15, plants his foot, turns, realizes, oh, Washington, this defender here has moved. He's got all the position on him. But there's all this open space here. And the defender is looking back. So he's not going to realize that Brown cuts back inside. Brown then starts to move back inside 
As soon as he starts to move back inside, Jackson notices. This is a great adjustment to his route. And great read by Lamar Jackson to throw this ball. And it's a good throw. He throws this back the other way, right in a spot where only Brown can catch it, right between these two defenders. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Beautifully done by Brown. Beautifully done by Jackson. He catches it right between the defenders. Brown realizes this guy, he's got all the momentum in the world coming forward, so he's going to step past him forward, hoping that, you know, the big tight end here is going to help him get a little bit of a block. He uses it really, really well. Look, he actually goes behind the blocker. Behind the block. That is smart movement right there patiently waiting for the blocker to get out in front of him to get extra yardage and he almost gets a touchdown here so close but the knee hits right before the ball crosses the line and he ends up right about here but that is a beautiful play by Hollywood Brown that is Hollywood Brown the play before was Marquis Brown this was Hollywood Brown at his finest very good job very very good job another deep route next game against the Cincinnati Bengals Hollywood Brown does a great job here as well I mean he's in the slot this time instead of out wide and he's going to end up being matched up one-on-one -on -one with a safety and he does a great adjustment to his route does a great job Lamar just misses him just misses him he, he, he leads Marquis just a little too far. Let's watch the play. There's a snap. A little pressure. Steps up. Rolls out to his right. Throws the football. Look at Mar Wow, he was well open. Well open. Now watch him as he makes this play. He's going to take off after the snap. And it's just all speed. He's trying to get downfield as fast as he possibly can. That's all it is. And he does a good job of getting past this defender. Look, a little, little sidestep there, running forward. You see the safety. Now, he's pointing. He's pointing, which means, hey, you take him. He's telling his other safety, take him. Brown sees this, which no, he now knows that the guy covering him is the guy way over here. Which means he's waiting. As soon as he gets past this safety, what he's got to do, see how he cuts in towards him? So this angle, which means he's going to run to try run straight to try to keep him. He's looking back. He's seen, hey, he's in a little bit of pressure and he's rolling out to his right. Now, there's a lot of space out here. Because he knows since he was looking back, hold on, let me step this back a little bit. See, he's looking back right now. He sees that Lamar is under pressure and he's starting to roll to his right, which means he needs to roll to his right as well. And in doing so, it's going to give him more space from this safety. So he turns right there, cuts back inside. He's well open, well open. Lamar needs to throw this football right about here. And this is a touchdown all day. Wide open. Great. Just great awareness of what was going on on the field. Uh, good decision making on where to take his route after he realized that Lamar was rolling to his right. And where the, uh, the defensive guy was that was covering him. This was just a missed opportunity on leading Brown a little too far. Just out of his reach. Just out of his reach. You can't put this on, on Brown. This was all, this is Jackson. Brown wide open. Wide open. Easy touchdown. Jackson just missed him. I'm not going to get too far into what Jackson did here wrong, but he did do something wrong uh, for the accuracy issue. But, because this is more on Brown, and Brown ran his route beautifully and adjusted his route beautifully for what was going on on the field around him.
Are you kidding me? Evidence of really, really great route running here for Marquis Brown? What? Are you, you seriously? Wow. All right. So on this play, this is this is a play that's going to go to Sneed for 34 yards. All right. I mean, it's a great play by Sneed. But we're we're looking at at Marquis right here, and Marquis down here at the bottom of the screen, and he does an absolute fantastic job. Absolutely fantastic. Let's let's watch the play full full motion, then we'll see what happens. Beautiful. Oh, boy, he cut him out like nobody. Sneed takes that ball all the way down to the eight. But we watch Hollywood right here as the ball is snapped. He sells this go route like nobody's business. Look how much room. I think that's Hayden. Look how much room he's giving him. Then he's, he, he turns his hip, he starts to take off, and then bam. Look at the stop that he puts on him. Watch his feet. You see how he, he for immediately, he plants that first foot. Plants it. Now he's got about a yard distance right here between him. and He's taking off. So he plants that first foot hard to stop him and then short jabs one two three quick jabs which immediately gives him an extra yard and then not only does he stop see lamar hasn't thrown the football yet he's still looking downfield you got a wide open guy right here he could throw to also but he starts coming back if you look he's coming back to jackson knowing First down markers on the 32. He's got plenty of room to come back. He's he's coming back. He's got three yards on the corner on the corner now. Three yards. Let's make it four yards. Four yards on the corner now. He's continually to come back. Jackson instead throws the football to the guy who's the most covered on the field. It's just wonderful that he caught the ball and ran it up this way for a big yardage but he had two good options here he had this guy here that was coming on the, on the in route which i wouldn't have thrown to because you had both the free both the safeties were free this was man coverage with two deep safeties free because it was only uh they didn't send a, a blitz like you generally see from <clears throat> pittsburgh but your best option on this play, legitimately, was Marquis Brown. Guaranteed first down. And who knows, because this corner wouldn't have been paying attention. He could have caught this ball and possibly cut out on the cornerback and, and gone. But Brown takes the short, quick throw instead. But Brown, look at that. I mean, that's that's gorgeous. He could have threw the ball right here. And had a, a, a first down as well. This was a very good route by him. This was a very good route by Brown. I mean, legitimately, the only guy that was the most covered on the field is who he's throwing the football to. And he zones in on him too much. Instead of working through his progressions, looking, hey, look, I got a guy open here, got a guy open here. He throws to the most covered guy on the field. Which, like I said, pleasantly surprised he took that ball all the way to the eight. But this right here, and this right here, guaranteed. Great route running by both guys. Brown would have caught it, and possibly had he thrown it, like I said. No safety help over the top for him, because he could have caught that, curled outside, and gone. Gone. But Jackson just threw it short instead. Nothing wrong here with uh, Marquis Brown's route running on this play. He's just, he threw it to somebody else. Here's another, the final clip that I got is the last game that the Ravens played before they play tonight against the Steelers. And this play here, Brown does a great job. Runs his route great, adjusts on the field to make the throw easier for Jackson, and Jackson just misses the pass. Uh, is it catchable? Maybe. But Jackson really put Brown in a bad spot here to catch this football. Let's watch the play, see what happens. Right here's Brown. Beautiful cut. He throws it way high and a little behind. 
Well, it's Watts right here. And Watts Jackson. He's not pressured. He steps up into the pocket. Plenty of time. No excuse whatsoever. Here's Brown. Brown is moving over this way to give Jackson more of a lane to throw. There's no one here to block this pass. No one. Jackson could have just lofted a nice little pass right out here, let Jackson go get it. Instead, he launches a rocket that is way too high and a tad behind him. Right there. He should have never had to have jumped for this football. Ever. Not on this play. This is a play where Jackson should have just thrown a nice little pass out in front of Brown. Let Brown catch and go. Instead, yeah, he made Brown jump. And even slow down on on where he was going. He was he was moving. As you see, he's moving over this way. See, he had to stop and jump. Whereas, had he thrown it over here, he wouldn't have had to have stopped and jumped. He should have threw it more straight. Let Brown go get the football, use his speed and momentum to catch and split these two defenders on the run. Could have been a great play. Jackson just delivered the the ball wrong. A lot of you are going to say, well, Brown should have caught that. Maybe he should have. Maybe he should have. But there is not a wide receiver out there in the NFL that's going to jump knowing, not knowing. You know, you know there's a safety behind you in a, in a corner that's, that's coming in on you from the side. You're going to want to protect your body. You're not going to want to have to be this high up in the air not knowing how close this safety and this linebacker and this corner who you just split off the zone because they're playing zone. He found that soft spot in the zone. It was great. But you don't know where, where these guys are right now. All you're doing is reaching up into the air to try to catch this football off the ground by quite a bit. So he's a little worried. Should he have caught it? Probably. if he, on, on a still frame, yes. But if you watch watch this pass, yeah, it's a little bit of a difficult pass to catch. Jackson could have made this way easier and not thrown a daggone rocket that was really high and not in front of Brown. Jackson needs to learn. Or he don't need to learn. He's I've seen it from him on film. He can lead a receiver. He just did a very poor job of leading the receiver on this situation this is a situation where I'm not really putting this as much on Brown as I am on Jackson. This is just a bad delivery by Jackson here. Brown did everything he was supposed to do. He found that soft spot in the zone right here after this, after the cut. Er, seen the seen the cut, seen the zone, moves right here. Watch him moves in towards the zone into the soft spot of the zone. And Jackson should have threw it more where the Ravens' name is so that he could have caught and ran and it would have been an easier catch. I'm not exactly putting this whole entire game on your boy, Hollywood Brown. As a matter of fact, I'm not putting the season on him. I think he's doing a pretty good job. The only issue is that I'm noticing so far on the film, there's a lot of go routes. He's running at least 25% go routes all the time. And the passes, delivery, and even where he's throwing the football, Jackson's not delivering the ball as well as he was last year. I don't know if it has something to do with what's going on with him, but the delivery of the football. And also, uh, like I said in the first clip, Man, sometimes the, the play design is just not designed properly to be able to get through all of your reads on the field. I think it's a little bit of everybody. And I'm not putting this on Brown whatsoever. Has he dropped some balls? Yes, as you see right here. 
but that's a ball that should have been delivered a lot better. He's he's running pretty good routes. I've seen a couple times so far this season where his route running was not very good because of indecision. But quite frankly, I think Marquis should be having a much better season than what he's having right now because I think he's playing to the ability of a guy who could have a thousand yards receiving this year. He's just being missed, whether missed on the field or missed on the throws. Doesn't matter. I'm not putting it on Marquis, though. I think Marquis playing to that ability. So as you can see, there has been missed opportunities across the board, right? Uh, bad decision making on Lamar Jackson. Uh, there was a couple times where he just didn't make the right moves himself. Marquis didn't when it comes to uh, running his routes and trying to get open, uh, especially indecision on his moves to try to shake his his coverage. That doesn't happen a lot that I noticed, but it did, it did happen a few times. The biggest problem is play design. A lot of the problems is the fact that you're seeing Marquis Brown running a lot of go routes. I'm seeing about 25% go routes with him. And what I mean by go routes, any, any route taking you uh, 20 to 25 plus yards downfield. Now, not all the time are they supposed to go all the way to the end zone. Sometimes you're going to see him go 25 yards and do a, a hook in or something of that nature or a hitch or an inside cut or something. But I'll tell you what he does do really, really well. What he does is he looks after his quarterback. He'll make that route and look back to see what in the world uh, Lamar Jackson or whoever it is at quarterback could be Robert Griffin like you saw today against the Steelers in the Week 12 matchup just a little bit ago where he looked back, seen him, but it wasn't Lamar Jackson. It was the uh, third-string quarterback instead of Robert Griffin where Griffin got hurt. He looked back, caught the football, great yards after catch. That's what actually Marquis Brown does very, very well. If you hit him in stride, then he's going to do a really, really well with his yards after catch. But the problem is Lamar Jackson's not hitting him in stride. He's hitting him to where he has to jump for the football. He has to do contested catches. He has to uh, go back for the football behind him. Things of that nature. This season's not been on Marquee at all. Uh, I've, I've noticed a couple drops. But every receiver has a few drops. He's not anywhere near as bad as some of the other receivers in the NFL. He's actually, I, I believe, right around average from what I was noticing. My problem is is that the delivery is not there. Um, Lamar Jackson's not seeing him when he's open because of play, bad play design on where they're setting up for Lamar Jackson to look on the field when they do run this. You can't put one wide receiver on one side of the field and not have him at all in, in your progression route. You need to have, if you've got one wide receiver on one side of the field, that should be your first look. But you can't look in that one clip, as I said earlier, when the running back is going the direction of where all the other receivers are. You're not going to look at him, right? So that's just bad play design. Um, a lot of different plays where it shouldn't even be running, like really a lot of third and shorts, and he's still running a go route or something, or a deep post or a deep out. You know, that's not Marquis' fault. That's not his fault of the, the routes that's chosen for him to run. All he can do is run what he's asked to run and hope and pray that he's seen when he gets open. And a lot of times, that's just not the case. And other times when he is open, the passes are just not delivered well. So that's my film room on Marquis Hollywood Brown and why this year just hasn't been as good as last year. Mark, he's actually playing really, really well, but because of the way things are going and the way things look when the balls are thrown to him, all you see is incompletions. You're not seeing when he's open and not thrown to because that's not highlighted on plays. You know, it doesn't highlight, you know, Lamar Jackson throwing it high and behind him or leading him open into an open spot it's not highlighted that, you know, Hollywood looks back and sees that his quarterback is in trouble and runs to the open spot on the field to bail his receiver or his quarterback out 
and sometimes and sometimes not being seen. Marquis Brown's playing very, very well, and I hate to say this, but Lamar Jackson has just taken a step back this year as compared to last year on how he's been quarterbacking this year. That's that's my take on it. So thank you all for watching my film room here on uh, on Colts Law here on Sportscaster exclusively. If you'd like to see more of these, please smash that favorite heart button down there and give me a follow so you're notified next time I go live. Obviously, you can't do that unless you actually have a profile. Those of you who have watched this with a profile, Man United or Guy 69, Will the Great, G Vine in 1977, Run and Hide, uh, Leanne Waugh. Thank you all for watching here on Sportscaster. Please hit that hit that subscribe, uh, follow button, and the like. And until next time, as usual, I'm Lawrence Owen with my film room breakdown, and I want you to have a good one. Just because a guy's a player is not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.